Hello, I'm Bo with Windsor, and I'm here to introduce you to the Admiral Carpet Extractor. The Admiral Carpet Extractor has an eight gallon solution tank, sprays that solution with a 100 PSI pump, has a 15 inch brush to agitate the solution into the carpet, and then recovers it with a 17 inch vacuum shoe into its eight gallon recovery tank. Let's take a look at the components of the Admiral Carpet Extractor. To access the undercarriage, you'll need to remove the recovery tank, and tip the machine back. On the undercarriage, you'll find the spray jets, which come out with a quarter turn, almost like twisting the top off a ketchup bottle. To access the jets, simply reach underneath, give the jet a quarter turn, and the jet comes straight out. The beauty of the quarter turn jets is that as compared to brass jets, when you put a brass jet back in, sometimes the fan spray doesn't line up correctly because you over twist the jet. That causes streaking. Whenever you put a quarter turn jet back in, it automatically lines up so that there's no streaking. Additionally, you can access the brush by simply reaching your hand in behind the brush, pulling it from its housing so that you can clean it and maintain it. To put the brush back in, simply line up the keyed area on the drive, give it a firm push in, and then push up into the clip. The last component of the undercarriage is the vacuum shoe, which pivots so that it stays in constant contact with the floor. On the front of the Admiral, you'll notice hookup ports for both a vacuum line and a solution line. Your brush adjustment is located over here on the side. This is the recovery tank for the Admiral Extractor. The dump hose is in the back. Note that the tank comes off completely so that it can be cleaned out thoroughly. The control panel on the Admiral Extractor is located right here. Let's take a look at it. The control panel consists of the following items. Circuit breakers for the brush and the vacuum motor. The spray button, which determines whether the spray is on constant or intermittent for use in smaller, tighter areas. The brush motor and the vacuum motor. To operate the machine, just turn on the vacuum motor, turn on the brush motor, and select your spray mode. If you're in intermittent, you'll simply depress the top of the button and then operate the pump by depressing any of the three buttons that are located on the underside of the handles. Right here, right here, or right here. To put it into constant mode, simply depress the bottom of the button and that way it'll stay on constantly without having to depress any of the buttons for use in hallways and other large areas. Always think safety first. When preparing your machines for use, always wear the proper protective equipment, such as safety glasses and gloves. To prepare your Admiral Extractor for use, you'll need to follow a few simple steps. Check your jets. Check your brush. Pay close attention to the wear indicators. Fill your solution tank with fresh water, and then add chemical be sure to measure your chemical for proper dilution. If you don't have easy access to a janitor's closet and a hose, you can always utilize the six foot long fill line to hook up to any standard faucet and fill wherever you're at. When replacing the recovery lid, be sure that you can read all the writing on the recovery dome from behind the machine. That way, it'll be seated properly. Before plugging in your machine, make sure that the cord is intact with no cuts and that your ground plug is intact as well and plugged into a grounded outlet. When plugging in your cord, make sure that you plug in and give the cord a twist to lock it in place so that it doesn't pull apart while you're cleaning. 
keep the tension off of the connection between your power cords, be sure that you crimp the cord like this and insert it into the cord hanger on the handle. To adjust the brush, simply turn the brush motor on with the brush height adjuster in the storage position. Then lower notch by notch until you hear the pitch of the motor change and the brush comes in contact with the carpet. Then lower one more notch and your brush is adjusted correctly. To begin operating your Admiral Carpet Extractor, start by adjusting the handle so that it's in a comfortable position for you to operate. Turn on your vacuum motor, turn on your brush motor, and then select intermittent or constant spray. I'm going to use intermittent spray and operate it with one of the three buttons located on the other side of the handle. When you can see the water beginning to come through the recovery dome, the machine is operating perfectly. When you get done to your, the end of your pass, be sure that you stop, let go of the water, and pull back another foot so that you recover everything off the floor. Make an overlap pass of your previous pass. When you're finished cleaning, you'll need to empty the recovery tank and the solution tank on your Admiral. To empty the recovery tank, just grab the recovery hose, hold it tight to control the flow, and empty it. Next, empty the solution tank. Rinse your recovery tank. Finally, remove the lid from the recovery tank and tilt it into an upright position so that the solution tank can dry thoroughly. and put your brush into the storage position. Congratulations, you're now ready to use your Windsor Admiral Extractor.